Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, my gold is kind of dwindling, but I have enough for two more arena runs, so let's go. Hmm. Let's go with the Paladin. Yeah. Let's go with the Paladin. I will fight with honor. That is one hell of a first selection. Okay. Uh, South Sea Captain, definitely not, because I can't bank on... Uh, I can't count on having other pirates. Sea Giant. Or Mountain Giant. Hmm. I guess I'm... Let's go with Sea Giant. Since my hero power is to summon uh, a Silverhand Recruit. So having a lot of low costers on the field is decently likely. So let's go with that. And anyway, it says um, each other minion on the battlefield. Not friendly minions, so it even counts for the enemies. Uh, let's go with Shattered Sun Cleric. Yeah. Eye for an eye. Nah, don't really like it. Well, I don't have any 7 costers, although I suppose the Sea Giant is kind of my big coster. I mean, the chance of this costing 7 or less is pretty damn high. You would only need 3 other things on the battlefield. Go the Shattered Sun Cleric again. Ooh, Silverhand Knight is a damn good card. I also don't have any don't have any silence. Let's go with the Iron Beak. Hmm. You know what? Since there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna get things that will allow me to buff my own creatures and Maybe give them Divine Shield and stuff like that. I'm actually going to go with a Gurabashi, because I might be able to do... I might be able to buff it up to something crazy. Guardian of Kings. Hmm. Ah, let's go with the Four Coster. Well, at the moment, I don't have any card draw. And with my Silverhand Recruits, that could combine pretty well with the Cult Master, so let's go with that. I don't really love any of these. I don't think the Archmage is particularly useful with this class. Eye for an eye. Ah, I don't really want that. Maybe just Holy Light. I could use it to heal up my Gurabashi. Yeah, let's go with Holy Light. Well, I have no one costers. I also have only one two coster. I have no taunt. Let's go with the Amani, though. Bloodsail Corsair, don't care for. Murloc Tidecaller, not very good when you can't count when you can't count on having other Murlocs, so let's go with the Violet Teacher. Ooh. Ventrico Mercenary could be nice. It certainly won the game for me before. Especially if you can get it out right on turn five. It can be too much for your opponent to deal with. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, let's go with Ventrico. Let's get some more card draw, and another two coster. Noble Sacrifice or Earthen Ring?
I almost want to go with Noble Sacrifice. Hmm. Nah, let's go with the Earthen Ring Farce here. Okay, do I have any battle cries I really want to replay? Well, Iron Beak Owl, that'd be nice. Novice Engineer, that'd be nice. Earthen Ring Farseer, that'd be nice. Shattered Sun Cleric, that would also be nice. There's actually quite a few things I could combo with this. On the other hand, the Silver Hand Knight is rather attractive. And I don't just mean his sexy beard. I mean, he's just a damn good card. He's essentially 6-6 six, six stats for 5, which is really good. But... I'm gonna go with the Youthful Brewmaster. Hand of Protection, absolutely. I will combine well with my Garabashi Berserker. Ooh. Okay, I don't really want the Ancient Mage, but Young Priestess and an Eldor Peacekeeper. Let's go the Eldor Peacekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> Light's Justice. That's like the one weapon in Arena that I won't take. It's terrible. It does one damage. One damage. That's terrible. No. Just no. Considering I have no taunts, I'm going to go with this engine. I will take more card draw. I really don't want to war golem. I, I don't like that 7-7 seven, seven for 7. Let's go with Blessing of Might. Here we go. Yeah, this will be my end game punch. Could use some more two-costers. Mad Bomber or Fairy Dragon? Let's go with Mad Bomber. He's fun! He's more fun. And I will go with another Hand of Protection. I have no six-costers. I don't want the Priestess of a Loon. Guardian of Kings. Uh, I don't put much stock in healing my own... Hero. And I could always do that with Holy Light if I really needed to. Let's go with the Frost Elemental. Consecration, absolutely. Some removal. Arjun Protector. Yeah, let's go with Divine Shield again. Yeah. Humility. Okay, it's just like the... The, uh... The hell's it called? The Eldor Peacekeeper. Except it doesn't have a minion. Which is why I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't go with it. I don't know. I mean, it's like a really bad Eldor Peacekeeper, basically. Like, for two more, I'd much rather have the actual minion on the battlefield. But I don't have the luxury of choosing what I want in my deck. Like, a constructed. How many three costers do I have? Two Shattered Sun Clear, Sir Ring Farsi, and Outdoor Peacekeeper. Um. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Humility. Okay, good. Some more low costers. Blessing of Might. I already have one. Do I want two? Not really. Let's go some more solid two costers. True Silver Champion, absolutely. Now I've got a weapon. Do I want a low coster taunt? That is almost entirely useless in terms of damage. Corehound could be nice. I mean, I could combo that with something that gives a Divine Shield, making it very hard to get rid of. Hmm. 
I don't really have that much big, scary stuff. Oops, I just hit my microphone. I might have been loud. Yeah, I mean, I've got the... I mean, I consider something big basically any minion that has over five, that costs over five. Which at the moment is just Frost Elemental, Ravenhold Assassin, and the Sea Giant. Maybe the Ancient Brewmast? Nah, let's go I'm gonna go with the Core Hound. I don't really... <laughs> this is my final card, too. I don't really like any of these. Arcane Golem, give your opponent a Mana Crystal? No, just no. Cold Light Seer. I don't have any other Murlocs, do I? No, I don't think so. It's gotta be the Mind Control deck. Okay. I don't know, it seems like a pretty solid deck. I've... Keep in mind, I only started playing Paladin yesterday, I think it was, and I played it for a little bit. And that was the first time I've ever played a Paladin. So, I'm not exactly sure what really makes them good. I'm not entirely sure how to play them, but I don't know, I did pretty okay when I played it, so. Uther, Garrosh, victory <laughs> Their name is McFist. With honor. McFist, what a wonderful name. Hmm. I don't want that. I almost want to keep these, because then I could combo the Blessing of Might with the Violet Teacher to get something out of it. But... I should probably toss it. Should I? No, I'm going to keep it. Oh, great. Wonderful. Maybe I should have tossed it. Well, met. well, I can get some card draw in turn two. Then I can... If they play something, I can outdoor Peacekeeper it and keep my stuff al which will keep my stuff alive for a while. Armor Smith? I don't even know what that is. Whenever a friendly minion takes damage, gain plus one armor. Oh. Well, it already has one attack, so I don't really need to do anything with that. I could kill it. I could preemptively kill it. That might be the way to the way to go, actually. I mean, what else am I gonna play? The outdoor peacekeeper? To use it to absolutely no effect? Alright, I'll kill it. No armor smithing for you. Denied, McFist. Let's see, next turn, Aldor Peacekeeper, plus, well, nothing. Or Sengen's Shieldmaster to protect my assets, as I call them. Don't take offense, I know you're real people. I just call you assets because I, I don't really know. And they're all dead. That's fine. Board reset. I'm, I'm happy with that. Alright, well, the Violet Teacher and the Sengen Shield Master have the same stats. The difference is, I don't actually need to protect anything with the Sengen Shield Master, so I might as well get her out. And next turn, I could potentially use Hand of Protection on it. Or on something. Yeah, okay, I'll just. Well, let's see. Oh, no, wow. I was gonna Aldor Peacekeeper and just leave it, but I could actually just kill it. And give her Divine Shield, which will make her spit out. Ew, that sounds weird. The Violet Teacher's gonna spit out a Violet Apprentice. 
Yeah, let's go with that. Punch you in the face. Alright, puts me in a good position. Ooh, what are you coining? Six coster. What do you got? Oh! Damn. That hurts. That hurts. I love that weapon. How dare you! How the hell do I get rid of that thing? I can't. I can't get rid of it. Let me think. Yeah, I really can't get rid of it. Let me think. Okay. I'm just going to wait and hope I can find a way to remove it. They'll have to use both of their creatures to take out my Senjin. And yeah, just build up a wall of creatures here. There's no way for me to actually kill that. I could have outdoor peacekeepered it. But that just <laughs> that takes this damage down from 3 to 2. That's not really worth it. What have you got there? You're making me nervous. What are you doing? You're hovering. Your card's floating. Give me a quest. Hmm. Nothing needs to die. Are they gonna do it? Oh no. They're gonna save their taunt. Okay. How oh, goes in what class? Well, I just can't really say it's going good. I mean, this is my first game. Hmm. Well, I can completely neuter their damage potential. But I need to get rid of this taunt. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that without using my Violet Teacher. I'd like to use my Violet Teacher to take out the questing adventurer. Yeah, there's really no way I can kill this thing. Which is unfortunate. Alright, let's just take that out. And I'm just going to control you. Buff it up as big as you want. I shall do as you say. Yeah. No matter how big they buff it, I can always just use humility on it and make it... You know, even if it has 15 hit points, if it has one attack, it almost doesn't matter. Oh god, that weapon. Holy crap, that weapon. The Gore Howl. <laughs> That weapon scares the hell out of me. It's terrifying. It is freaking terrifying. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they can only attack one thing. That's a good thing. So, let's neuter that for the moment. A lot of targets. 
course, they're probably going to buff the questing adventure up again by playing stuff. But I can always re-humility. Aw, my violet teacher. She was such a good teacher. Her students loved her. Truly one of the most respected teachers at the institution. They're going to be so pissed when I just... Re-humility that thing. Ooh. I think I'm going to be playing that. Um. Um what? Hmm. Well, that was quick. Wait, what? What was quick? I do want to kill this thing. I think I'm going to bank on my Venture Go Mercenary. Hmm. So I think I will actually kill this thing. Of course. Yeah. I can use the Holy Light to restore its health, too. I shall do as you say. Let's neuter this thing again. Let's get this thing out there. Alright, I'm going to bank on this thing carrying me through the game. Although they're probably going to hit it with the Gore Howl and their questing adventure now that I think about it, actually. But anyway. Wait, so what's going on? Got a light bolt to 14 health and gave it... 14 health and gave it attack power equal to that smacked a warlock in the face with it three times. It all ended at turn 5. Holy hell. That's a quick game. There's stuff happening in the background and I can't see it. I've ended the game on turn 6 before, but, wow, turn 5. Yep, they killed it. That's what I thought. And that damn thing is being powered up again. Ugh. I think I'm going to lose. I tried to neuter that thing and just, you know, keep his attack low and just punch him in the face, but that's not working too well, and now I'm out of cards. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of screwed. I was taking down its attack, but... It has so much health now. Okay. Well. The battle. The battle. Please hit that thing once. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. I'll take it. Yeah, I kind of just need to stay alive, so let's go ahead and do that. This isn't looking good for me. I can use some card draw right about- oh yeah, okay. Pretty much GG at this point. <laughs> that damn gore howl. Oh, Gorehound. Which is going to die to the questing adventure, and it's not even going to kill it. The hell else can I do? Is there any point in not playing it? Is there any point in not playing it? I can't give it taunt. I need to play something, or I'm gonna die. Before I could ever possibly use it. Reporting for duty. To battle! Pass me that arc light spare! Yeah, I've pretty much lost at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Between the 712 questing adventure and the 67 Boulder Fist Ogre and the 77 War Golem and the 41 Gorehow, I think I've lost. Oh. 
Yep, yeah, well played. Well played. The victory Holy hell. Well played. Note to self, plan to control the questing adventurer? Bad. Don't do it. It's not worth it. The way you control the questing adventure is by killing it. Right, this is off to a bad start. Maybe I'll finish 0-3. Uther versus Thrall! For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. All right. I'm going to keep my card draw. Definitely don't want that. Do I want the Shattered Sun Cleric? It is a three coster. But if you can't use it on something else, it sucks. But it is a three coster. I don't know. I'll keep it. That's not really what I want this early on. Actually, yeah, I could combo it my combo it with my Silverhand Recruit. Turn two, Silverhand Recruit. Turn three, Shared Sun Cleric. Reporting for duty. I wonder if they're going to go for my Silverhand Recruits, or just go for me. Okay, Shattered Sun Cleric, not such a good play anymore. Hmm. This is my only Iron Beak, so I really want to keep it. Should I just play my Shattered Sun Cleric? Maybe I should. I feel like I should. I mean, not, not play it, but I should save it. I mean, if they go for my Silverhand Recruit, then I'm absor absorbing the damage. And if they don't... Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm liking the True Silver Champion. To kill that. Let Alternatively, I could silence it. And then what? Well, there's really nothing else I could do. Yeah, let's just smash it in the face. For justice. Next turn, I can... I need some minions on the board so I can use this damn Blessing of Wisdom. Well, like a Silverhand Recruit and Shattered Sun Cleric. Well, that's gonna get smashed in the face. Sea Giant! Can't quite play that yet. Soon. Soon. Right, so I'm going to be smashing that in the face, right? I could silence it. Let me think. Nah, it's just Justice. smashing the face. Reporting for duty. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Pretty good chance of a CGI next turn. Never mind. Sea Giant is sad. Yeah, at least I have a card advantage. 
could almost play the Sea Giant. Almost. So close. Right. The good thing is I have almost no damage potential on the board. Hmm. Could Amani Berserker and what? I'm just going to freeze that damn thing. Alright, next turn is a probable sea giant. One cheap sea giant. Okay, so that thing should die right away so they don't get cards. Or I could silence it, but it has four damage potential. I should probably just kill it. Okay, so play the sea giant before I kill anything, of course. Five, six, seven, eight. Damn it, don't have enough. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, yes I do. Yes, 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 okay. Let Three, think. four, five, six, seven, yeah. So... I could... make this thing do very little damage, then play the Sea Giant, and then kill it before they can get cards out of it. Thereby doing very little damage to the Frost Elemental. Oh god, and the end turn button is broken again. Come on, come on game, C come on. Come on, there we go. I hate it when that happens, that's the second time that's happened to me. You have something else to play for one mana? Right. So... Probably just kill the fire elemental. Yeah, probably just trade with it. Might as well do that now, I suppose. Now what? Hold on. Let's get that out. Let's get you out. Let's give you Blessing of Wisdom. And get a card. Job's done. Which, I actually probably should have done that first, just in case I got a card that I wanted to play, but I didn't, so it was fine. No, that's fine. Didn't kill the Amani Berserker, and they still can't kill it, even with their River Crocolisk. Please don't be a taunt. Oh, it's a taunt, okay. I still have five mana left, there's a lot they could do. Right? Hell, I might just have lethal next turn. Seriously, what do I have? Well, I have 15 damage potential, so no, I don't. Right, so I can just plow through that thing. Which is probably what I should do, right? Yeah. I could just straight up kill that thing, but I don't even think I should touch it. In fact, I might just silence it. Let me think. 
Well, hold on, let's get a card first. Ooh, hello. Yes, I will take you. Yeah, I'll go for the face. Reporting for duty. Alright, it's looking pretty good for me. Right, so we're gonna take out a low coster, kill it, and then get more damage, and then take out my uh, probably my ventricle mercenary, right? Or not? Are you gonna go for that? I go for the ventrico. Take seven damage off. Oh wait, actually no, that's right. They're gonna die anyway. Yeah, they need to. Well, hell, I mean, they just can't. Yeah, GG. Why? Well, thank you. Okay, whew. After the first loss, I was getting nervous. Or wait a minute, did I say I was playing my first game and this was actually my second? I don't even remember. What I never remember how the hell many wins I have and how many losses. I have to wait for the end of matches to see that. One one. My dream has come true. I'm in the big leagues now. I'm almost legendary. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm rank 19, I think. Or 18? 18 or 19? Because I barely even played rank. Uther versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Definitely toss those. What about Earthen Ring Farseer? It's a three coster, on the other hand, I probably don't need to restore three health anytime early. I should probably keep it anyway. Just because it's a three coster. Alright, not not bad. Get the novice engineer on turn one. Well met. Or I could turn four Ventrico Mercenary. No. I've learned that holding onto your cards is generally a bad idea. At least not, you know, holding onto them for a really, really long time. In fact, I can even youthful brewmaster <laughs> next turn my novice engineer and get another card later. Which is probably exactly what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Attack with it first. Never forget. Always attack with it first. Hmm. That's a little bit awkward. I don't really want to use Divine Shield on it. I could attack and then restore its health. Mm. There's no way I'm going to kill that, though. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to kill it on turn 4 with my true silver champion, so... So... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not even going to attack it. And... I don't know if they'll bother attacking it, either. They might just leave it there as a dawn wall. Let the pain speak to me. All right. Bash that in the face, kill that with the youthful brewmaster. And that would end my turn. Yeah, don't really see any better place. Let's do it. For justice. Thank you. 
Give them one card, unfortunately, but not much you can do about that unless you silence it, which is pretty unlikely. What do I do next turn? I could venture go. That is an option. Or I could Senjin. Or I could Arch and Protector. And Earthen Ring Farseer to bring up my youthful Brewmaster. Well, at least the Tazdingo isn't a beast. But yeah, I think I'm going to Venture Co. Punch that thing in the face and sacrifice my Novice Engineer. Yeah, and then later I can give a Divine Shield. Maybe if it survives the next turn. Let me think. Yep. You gotta be kidding me. Justice. Get that damn thing out of the way. Let's go for the face, because of course they're going to use their... Timberwolf against my 3-1 Youthful Brewmaster. It's a much better trade. Might as well get the damage out of it. Hmm, it's gonna get awkward. Gonna be punching against this stupid wall. Let the pain speak to me. They might even just leave their Timberwolf there for the damage. Oh, no, they won't. Hmm. Yet another Acolyte of Pain. Okay. Well, there's absolutely no way I can kill that without using the Venture Co, correct? Correct. So... Let's go ahead... Give you a blessing of wisdom. Let's punch down the wall. And let's give you Divine Shield. I mean, I know it's only really protecting it from the one damage from the Acolyte of Pain, but whatever, it's something, and it gets another minion out on the board. Puts them in the awkward position of even if they pop my Divine Shield with the Acolyte of Pain, they still can't kill my Ventrico Mercenary with their Jungle Panther. Only does four damage and that has five health. Oh, great. I don't know what that is. You shall not pass. Freaking taunts. Taunts everywhere. Hello, Gorehound. Okay. Okay. I, I seriously don't know what that could be. I'm not sure what they have. Oh, let's get another card. Alright, what are you? What the? Is it going to be something that plays when I play a minion? I bet it is. Okay, let's play something low then. Alright, what is it? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I am not losing that Venture Co. Mercenary. It is my vehicle to victory. It is my card draw. It is my everything. My beautiful Venture Co. Beautiful, beautiful Venture Co. I wonder. Let the 
Pain, speak to me. Another one. You have three acolyte of pains. Oh, it died. Oh, rest in peace. Right, well, everything's going to stay alive for now. Now it's not a bad time to get the core hound out. They've got nothing. They probably don't have much removal since they just used it. And that has massive damage potential. Hmm. Yeah. So the next turn, I could protect it with a Senjun and Blessing of Might to give it even more attack. Or I could just... Yeah, they need a card. They need to see what they can get. Or I could freeze whatever they have, plus Blessing of Might. What have you got? Ah, oh, thank god they still can't kill it. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Can you kill it? Please, please don't be able to kill it. Good. They can't kill it. Right, they just played absolutely everything. And nothing that they played was particularly scary. So I'm probably going to be okay. Okay, well, I would like to protect this with a taunt. Let's get that out. And let's get this out. And let's get this more attack, thereby giving me a Violet Apprentice. Right, so they could take out my Sinjin. With their Shattered Sun Cleric and their Secret Keeper or their Master Swordsmith. And then they could take out my Core Hound, but if they punch it in the face, they're going to die. They'd have to punch it in the face, which means they would die. Ooh, can I kill it that way? Oh, yes, they can. Okay. I didn't think of that way. Yep, that works. And that's what they have to do if they want to stay alive. Alright, I'm just going to ignore what they have, and you just need to flip... Ooh, hello. A sea giant. Let's see. Hmm. Do that. For duty. Now it costs five. What the hell? Let's restore some health. I'm ready to learn. Instruction begin. I shall do as you say. Well played. Well played. Well played. Yeah. Did it actually completes my daily quest, or I've already completed it. No, there we go. Or. Oh no, I just want two. Okay. Yep, need one more. Need those daily quests for that gold? Gotta... Gotta keep enough gold in the coffers for my hearthstone habit. My addiction. My family doesn't know. They'll never know. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to get them addicted too. I will fight with honor. 
Hmm. Iron Beak. It is my only silence. Which means I kind of want to keep it, but on the other hand, I don't want to play it that early. Youthful Brewmaster. Hmm. They're low costers, but I can't really use their abilities this early. I need other minions on the board to use it on. But it's kind of... It seems greedy to kick out a bunch of two and three costers, though. I'll drop that. I will drop that. I'll keep that. Wonderful. I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Well met. I mean, there's some obvious things, like... You don't want to see Giant on turn one. You know to get rid of that. But there's other things where I just don't know. Effective Mad Bomber. I respect that. I see your Mad Bomber, and I raise you a Mad Bomber. <laughs> Holy crap! Lucky! MLG Mad Bomber. Yeah, I got pretty damn lucky there. The chance of that was relatively low. Hmm, I just put up a taunt. Yeah, it won't die from it, and it will kill it. That's, that's a good trade. We'll play. <laughs> Thank you. That was pretty funny. My greetings. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of want to just protect it. Yeah, it's a good trade. Trades really well with the Jungle Panther. Let's see, next turn I can... Well, I could Cold Master... And Blessing of Wisdom. And maybe suicide some of my creatures to get a ton of card draw. Alternatively, I could restore health to my Senjin. And Blessing of Wisdom. Can you? What does mana taste like? I've always wondered. Oh yeah, they can kill it. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about their hero power. Okay. I'm thinking Cold Master. I could even get two cards out of it. Do I really want to put a Blessing of Wisdom into a Mad Bomber, though? Yeah, what the hell. YOLO. Oh yeah, that's right, Cult Master. Whenever, whenever, ah, it's whenever one of your minions. Gotta read the card. One of your minions. Not all minions. I forgot about that. It's okay, though. It'll be, f well, oh, never mind. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used that on the Mad Bomber. <sighs> that didn't uh, work out too well. Anyway, let's forget that happened. Hmm. Probably Ravenholt Assassin next turn. Let me think. Might just mind control tech. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. It's not horrible. It's just mediocre. Yeah. We must cleanse the sun well. The next turn, if they play one thing and don't remove any of my stuff, I can play a Sea Giant, or I can play a Ravenhold Assassin. What to do? 
Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Oh, wow. Big plays, big plays. And the bigger your plays, the bigger my sea giant. Or rather, the smaller its cost. Yeah, play more things. Okay. So... I, wonder. I could reinforce Sea Giant and Blessing of Might. Which looks like it's what I need to do to get through the taunt wall. I wonder. Yeah, okay. Reporting for duty. Alright, I got some... I had got a nice amount of punch here. Magical Mercenary, Ravenhold Assassin, and I can restore the health of my Sea Giant. Assuming they don't have something that just straight up removes it. I'm actually not sure what kind of removal spells Druids have. No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Ooh. I was gonna maybe smack that in the face, or maybe go past them, but no need. No need at all. The battle. Reporting for duty. Alright, so they're taking away my lethal on the board. Right, they have 13 health and I have 8 damage potential. Thank you, the game's not over yet though. Yeah, I don't have lethal. Don't have lethal. Hmm. See, if I attack the war golem and restore its health, it still doesn't have... No, no, actually, it would have one health above the Defender of Argus. So it actually wouldn't die to that. They could hero power kill it, but then, of course, they're going to take so much damage that, well, you know. Um. Okay, what I'm going to do... Oops. I actually miscounted my mana there. Yeah, I miscounted my mana. Okay, whatever, I'll play that. I was going to play my Ravenhold Assassin, but I miscounted. I was thinking if I take him low enough and I have my Ravenhold Assassin out, then there's nothing they can do to stop me from killing them with this because it's in stealth, unless they have some sort of an AoE or taunt. But it'll probably, I'm hoping, turn out fine anyway. I mean, I have 26 health and they have 3. So... There's a pretty good chance it's going to be fine. My eyes are... Alright, yeah, they're trying to heal. But I still have lethal. Oh, no, I don't! I'm one damage away from lethal, are you kidding me? Wow. I can't kill them this turn. Just straight up, I can't. Alright, what do I play? Yeah, I just get my Ravenhold Assassin out. It's in stealth, so they're gonna have a really hard time dealing with that. They would need some sort of removal spell, I think, to get rid of my Ventrico and Taunt, or just multiple Taunts. Well played. Game over? 
Well played. They suicided. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I'm kind of surprised I won that just because I made a couple rather large mistakes. Like my stupid card draw thing early on and then... What else was there? Miscounting the mana? Yeah. Those are some relatively large misplays, but it worked out alright. And I've got three wins, so once again, I'm happy. No matter what else I get. As long as I get three wins, I'm satisfied. Man, I just realized... I took that Gurubashi Berserker hoping I could get some insane plays with it, but I haven't done anything with it. I don't even think I've played the damn thing yet. There's that silence again. I do want to keep some card draw. I want to keep that around. I kind of want to keep the Venture Co for early pressure. On turn 5. I'm going to keep it all, actually. It's probably stupid, but... I, I don't know. Like, I want some card draw, I want the early pressure, and this is my only... <laughs> great. And this is my only silence. So I kind of want to keep it around. Well met. Greetings, friend. Reporting for duty. I could even blessing of wisdom my 1-1 one, one silver hand recruit. Wouldn't it be funny if you can get two cards out of a silver hand recruit? You could. You could do it. Now that might be worth silencing. Not that it's really that much worth silencing, but it's something at least. That doesn't make much sense though, does it, to silence it? Iron Beak. Do I want to silence that? I don't. If I silence it, they're just going to kill my Iron Beak Owl. And stay alive. Or no, it would die. No, they'd kill my Silver Hand Recruit. And then if I wanted to kill it, I'd have to also kill my Iron Beak Owl. Anyway, what was that? I think I just faced another version of myself from another dimension, because they had the exact same cards as me. <laughs> uh, what? That's... Well, let me get my keyboard out so I can actually see what I'm typing. Winning a four coster. I don't like that. Okay. Okay. Consecration could be nice, except it wouldn't kill the dragonling mechanic, so no thanks. Yeah, I'm not having a lot of plays here. I really want to turn 5 Venture Co. But what do I play this turn? Let me think. The battle. Ah! Reporting for duty. I'm holding on to my cards for a disturbingly long time. I've got a nice hand, but I've got nothing on the board. On the other hand, I haven't really been taking damage. But still, I'm quickly running into the territory of I'm going to be dead before I can even play this stuff. What the 
does the future hold? Right. So this thing would just... It would die, but they'd have to sacrifice three against one, which is a pretty damn good trade. Alternatively, what do I do? I could Iron Beak Owl the Farseer. I'm just gonna get it out. There, deal with that. Either sacrifice everything you've got, or ignore it and go for me. Which might be the way to go. They could actually, they have eight damage on the board right now against me. Which is more than I have against them. Ah, I wish this Consecration did three damage. That would be rather handy. Could wipe their board. Oh boy, they're going for me. Oh, they're going to leave their Wind Fury. That's eight damage. Okay, that's not good. I think I'm just going to have to straight up freeze that. Because I need to stop that, and there's no other way to actually kill it. Yeah, I kind of have to. They have 11 damage next turn, if I don't. Or I could Eldor Peacekeeper it. Which would leave me a 3 mana to do what? That actually might be the better play. I could Eldor Peacekeeper that, and I could silence that. Which would kind of neuter their damage potential. Okay. Do I want to give it Divine Shield? Not really. No. I'll save that for something more worthy. Like a Frost Elemental. Now I'm really wishing I took some spell damage bonus stuff. Just for this Consecration. Right, so I've got a card advantage, but beyond that, nothing. Hmm. Right, they're extending themselves. Using a lot of cards, and they're overloading. But I'm still low on health. But they still have barely any damage potential on the board. So, ooh, Garabashi Berserker would be a pretty good play here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yep, it could hit this low damage stuff, which would enrage it without taking much damage. And then, of course, at some point, I could always give it more attack and give it Divine Shield. Son of a... <clears throat> well played. Well, well freaking played. That's about the biggest thing you could possibly take down with a Stampeding Kodo. Okay, well. They still don't have much damage potential. Right, I think I just need to get rid of a lot of the stuff they have on the board. Hmm. 
Tazingo. Yes. Okay. Right, next turn I could freeze. Ooh, kind of wish I waited on that consecration now. Almost. Still though, it's really not much damage potential. That's only four damage on the board. Your magic shall not. Save hmm. Really wish I saved that consecration now. But again, it's still not much damage potential. Could always give you divine shield. In fact, let's give you Divine Shield. And Blessing of Wisdom. Kill you. See what I get. I kind of want to wait for something bigger to freeze. Something big and scary. Please don't have some AoE. Mmm. That is an extremely good play right now. Oh my god, that's go that's gotta be game. Well Holy crap! <laughs> Talk about burst damage, Jesus. Bloodlust. Really wish I saved that Consecration. Hmm. All right, three, two. Uther versus Jaina. Uther, Uther. I just love how he pronounces that. Ooh, Blessing of Wisdom, I will keep you... I want to keep these two side ones, but what about Venture Co? Crazy turn 5 pressure? <sighs> They're probably just going to kill it with a freaking fireball. I'll get rid of it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well met. Probably Amani Berserker. Unless they play something that has three damage, and they didn't. That is a perfect thing to play an Amani Berserker against. Pack it, and get a buff. Or it dies and it gets buffed. That could happen too. That's a thing. <laughs> There's my Venture Go back again. You're gonna die so fast, Ventrico. Just gonna trade straight over with the Mana Worm. Unless I humility it, but that's kind of a waste of a humility. Yeah, I'm gonna be turn 5-ing Ventrico, pretty much guaranteed. Mm. Or it could survive. Uh, I'm thinking I need to get rid of this pressure. Yeah, screw you. There, now we're even. Except you have more cards. So, that kind of sucks for me. Definitely Ventrico. Hmm. Yeah, it's Ventrico. Next turn, I can Humility... I don't know if I want Humility that, but I could Humility that and Blessing of Wisdom. My Ventrico.
For a second, I thought they were going to fireball their own Senjin. No, I encourage you. Why don't you use a fire fireball on your Scarlet Crusader? Pop off that pesky Divine Shield. Yeah, okay, let's try to keep this thing alive. Okay, they're probably just going to use their Scarlet Crusader plus their Fire Blast to kill it at this point. Oh, that's right, I can't play this because it's... Yeah. Venture Co. makes everything cost more. Alright, uh, didn't turn out great. That really didn't turn out all that well at all. Hmm. That is a nasty Scarlet Crusader. Okay. Let's see what card I get. Right. I think this is a decent play. It's a damage sink. Yeah, let's play that. Take you down to two, so if you attack my Garabash, you're gonna die. Oh god. They're gonna replay it right now, aren't they? Oh my god. Those buffs. I'm a freaking paladin. I should be buffing. The amount of pressure they have on the board is insane. I think I've just lost. Like, I think I'm just fucked. Straight up fucked. Right. Well. Hmm. I could even be sitting on a pyroblast. I might already be dead, pretty much. There's no way to tell, though. Gotta put up a fight. Let's take that piece of shit out. Got tons of damage now, but it's gonna die. Alright, I need to absorb damage. So I'm gonna put up a taunt. And I'm going to give a Divine Shield. Reporting for duty. Yeah, pop it off, and then use their Scarlet Crusader against it. Then attack my Garabashi with their 3-3 Defender of Argus. And then attack me. Oh, nope, they're going right for me. Fireball? What do you have? Six mana. Oh, no, another minion. Oh, thank you for the crystal. At this stage of the game, that's actually a good play. Right. The question is, how do I stop from dying next turn? So, I can freeze something and bash something in the face. So... Let me think. So... I can... hit that with my Garabashi. Let 
for justice. Bash you in the face. And freeze you. Right, I'm pretty much dead, and if they have a Pyroblast right now, I'm already dead. Well played. They have a Pyroblast, well played. Well played. Or do they not? Nope, they have a Pyroblast. GG, well played. Hello, what do you mean? More like goodbye. Friggin' Pyroblast. Okay, well. I got three wins, so I'm happy. I'm not ecstatic. I'm not overjoyed. On a scale of 1 to 10 of happiness, I'm a 5. But I'm content. So, let's see what I've got. Wow, 50 gold. 50 gold in a pack. That's exactly breaking even. That's not it's actually surprisingly good. Let's see what's in the pack. Savannah High Main. That is a beautiful card. 3-3, three, three, not too shabby. Yeah, not bad. It's thoroughly mediocre. <laughs> but not bad. Deadly Shot. Really good card, too. Yeah, Savannah High Main is just insane. The Death Rattle has summoned two 2-2 two, two Hyenas. Now, aside from the fact that this is a Hunter card, and summoning two Beasts can, of course, combo with the... Uh, what's it called? The... Whatever the bird is, the one that gives you cards. What the hell is that thing called? I don't remember. But yeah, the Scavenging Hyena. And whatever the card-giving scavenger bird is. Uh, it can combo with that. But even if you don't combo with that, just think of the stats you're getting. You're getting 7, 8, 9, 10. You're getting 10, 9 worth of stats for 6. If you combine it all, that is insanely good. It's just an amazing card. Alright, well, I almost have enough gold to do two more arena runs. So probably after my next arena run, I'll probably get just enough to do yet another one. Okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.